News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And top of the morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo. And uh, actually, we wish you a very happy week ahead and uh, full of uh, a week in which hopefully all your aspirations and your hopes will be taken to the next stage. This morning, though, we are joined by the man in the news. There's just one man. Everyone's talking about him. Either he's missing, but he's here. And where he's been. We don't know where he's been, or we're told we don't know. Anyway, to answer all these questions, ahead of his planned meeting in Parliament this morning, is the one, the only, and the rather inimitable Faisal Mustafa. Very good morning to you, Mr. Mustafa. Good morning for us. I bet you've never been introduced like that before. We haven't. No. Right, there you are. That's a start. Now then, where have you been? I was in Malta. In Malta? What are you doing in Malta? Attending the local government forum, which is held every two years for us. Right. I got permission from His Excellency the President and also... Yes, but I, I, there's, there's a question straight away here. Uh, we send out our um, question, you know, our guest details ahead of this program. And so here's one question. In Parliament on Saturday, in response to a query by JVP's Anur Kumar Dissanak, leader of the House, Lakshman Kiriella, uh, the man of uh, Central Expressway fame, said you went abroad without informing him as per instructions given by the Prime Minister that during budget debates, government members should not go overseas without taking prior approval. Where did you go? Well, you told us where you went, for but us, what about the rest? The government wanted me to be for the local government forum in 2019, which is to be held in Sri Lanka. We want to hold it in Sri Lanka. There are three countries bidding for this. I sought cabinet approval, which Lakshman Kiriyala is a member of, yeah. and in that cabinet paper I very clearly stated that I am going to Malta to attend this conference. Yes. Also, it is, Did practice, you get a reply it is the that? practice that the head, I need written permission from the head of state yeah. before I go yeah. overseas being a cabinet minister. Yeah. So as required, I had approval in writing by His Excellency the President. Yeah. However, in, in, in the cabinet, the UMP ministers practice that they get permission from the Prime Minister before they leave the country. Right. So Laks Lakshman Kiriyala stating that I didn't get the Prime Minister's permission and that he was not aware. Yeah. I regret his statement because he was in cabinet yeah. and I can recollect that he was there when I sought cabinet approval to leave to Malta to attend this conference. Is this the onset of Alzheimer's for Lakshman Kiriyala? I don't want to go into it because we are, we are a national government. Right. I, I only express my regret about the statement he made in Parliament. Very polite. Very polite. Have, have, you, have you got aspirations of being the foreign minister? No, Faraz. I have no such aspirations. Right. Okay. Were you ab absconding? Faraz, this was a pre-planned visit. Right. And I went to Malta. Yeah. As per the directions of the cabinet. Yeah. And consequent to obtaining written approval from His Excellency the President. Yeah. So it is unfortunate that Lakshman Kiriyala made this statement in Parliament mm. when he was in cabinet mm. when I sought permission and I suppose he has it it it, 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 uh, it uh, there was a lapse on his part that, or he couldn't recollect the fact that I got cabinet approval. I don't want to go into it to, into detail. Mm. All what I want to state to the viewers today is mm. that I act in terms of the law and in terms of practice. I had written permission from His Excellency the President, which I'll be tabling in Parliament today, mm. because Honorable Andrew Kumar Dishanak has asked me a question yeah. on the basis of, as to why I was out of the country. Yeah. And also I sought and I obtained cabinet approval to participate at this forum. Right. The, 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 there's, grave, uh, there's grave concern um, uh, that you actually went to Malta uh, in, without, uh, you know, without sorting out this local so, government hall here. So and there's a, there's a relevant question, which can I, can I read it out to you? Please, please? you can, for us. Uh, this question is coming from uh, Mr. Shamindra Ferdinando from the Island newspaper, who says, uh, six, pe uh, six persons challenged your gadget on technical grounds. The Court of Appeal upheld their challenge on the basis 
of the Ahsoka Pierce Committee appointed by you had no mandate to decide on the number of LG local government members. Ahsoka Pierce Committee included lawyers. You are a president's counsel. How come those six who had absolutely no legal background recognized the fault in a gazette, whereas experts, lawyers, failed? Can you explain how all six happened to contact one lawyer to represent them in spite of them not knowing each other? For us, the legal process yeah. is that I don't know, you'll have to ask them why they contacted one lawyer and why okay. they didn't contact right. six lawyers. Yeah. For us, I yet very clearly state yeah. as regard to the Ahsoka Piris report that is within the law and there is no wrongdoing. I have in fact informed that in general when this case was filed yeah. and, I also, and also the Prime Minister informed me to take due steps I, and this is only an interim order. Yeah. Right? I'm very confident that we'll be able to set aside this order because there is no fault or wrongdoing and this report is perfectly within the law and at the moment since there is an interim order I would like, like to comment any further but we are doing all everything possible to get that order set aside. So you, you, you say that... I refute the position that this, that, that this report is faulty yeah. but at, at present there is an interim report so therefore I don't want to uh, discuss it any further, yeah. but we are taking due steps to get that vacated. But don't you think that your Yapal and the government has changed the role of polls? I, in the past, in the in, in the past, uh, the, the 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 watchdogs, the international watchdogs, and so on, they they were concerned about how free and fair the several polls were that um, President Rajapaksa was having or was causing to have. Now, these people are. On the other side, now they're trying to urge you guys to have the polls. For us, if there is a court case, yeah. can you against filed against me? Yeah. Can you blame me for that? I have done everything possible to have the. Is this like a court. lawyer's answer? For us, it's not a lawyer's answer. It's a factual. I've been very consistent. I have done everything possible to hold the local government elections freely and fairly. Yeah. And there were certain lapses yeah. on the on the. Jailat report, yeah. I had to go through an appellate process and also various political parties are pointing the finger at me. Why but they, they'll have to concede yeah. that Faiza Mustafa gave them opportunity to state their grievance and rectify all errors mm. and also bring that to be more minority party friendly or, 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 or friendly towards parties which have a minority views. How, how come this uh, elections commission has all of a sudden announced he's going to have the 93 where there are no multi-member things. For us, that is that, that's within his for us, He can do whatever he thinks is best for the country. Yeah. Uh, we all want elections. Yeah. And I'm not do going you to really? Comment. Yeah, I do for us. Do you for think us, they all can win? For us, I am a true Democrat. Right. But do you think I, you can win? I believe that we can win, yeah. irrespective of who wins or who loses. Yeah. Country needs elections. Local bodies have to function. And we need people. People's participation in this local but government. But it's so late. For us, for us, I am paying sins for for, for past sins. Ah, this is the blame game now. No, no blame game for us. I don't. For, for, I, for I, I, I don't blame anybody yeah. except the fact everybody can see that the delimitation report done by Basil Rajapaksa yeah. was faulty, and it was dictatorial. Basil faulty. That's like no that. more dictatorial. Yes, but that, it's that's not faulty. I mean, it's not when, faulty when you challenge. when you try to do things according to your whims and fancies, yeah. and you don't consult the others, and you think that you are alone to yourself in doing a report, yeah. then obviously there well, is. Well, what's uh, the official title of our country, of this country? Oh, I don't the Democratic know. Socialist Republic, Republic of Sri Lanka. That's right. There's no reference to kingdom, is there? Fifth term. King, kingdom and fiefdom both. No, no, neither, neither yeah. fiefdom nor kingdom. No, for so us. why is it that uh, some members of this government are acting as though this is their personal for fiefdom us. and that this is the the royal kingdom? For us, why don't you go and ask them? For us, yes, but when you part when you point fingers at yeah. certain parties, no, you for in us, terms of for us, I I I will answer questions within my mandate. Mm. We are a national government. There are things which we agree, things we don't, we, we disagree, there are laps, lapses. If is there, there a crisis going on? What? There's no crisis. This government is stable. Really? Yeah. Have you been out on the streets? Yes, I have. Have you been shopping? I have. I'm going to ask you this question, put you on the spot. For us, you can ask me okay. whatever question well, how, you want. How much did you, uh, do, do you know how much the price of for us, are? for us, I know you don't have to ask me all this. <laughs> yeah. you, I mean, I, I see you. Go, I, I saw you in the market last week when yes, I was there. So was you and I both know the price of. That's food. right. So yeah, I was trying us. to negotiate. We couldn't pay the eighty rupees. 
I, I'll get you it. I'll, I can get it a little cheaper for can us you? next time you go to the market. Have you got lots of coconut estates? Yes, for us. No, I don't have estates, but I know parties who have. Have parties. you got 30,000 acres? No, I don't, for us. Are you worth 400 million? No, for us. No. All right. Well, well, some of you might get upset if I keep asking you this person, sort of person, but they're not really. Now then, Faisal Mustafa, tell me. Tell me. Gintota. Gintota. Yes, Faraz, what about Gintota, Faraz? Don't say that, because those people out there... Faraz. They've been attacked. Faraz, people. They've been attacked. They were instigated. They they've was, been instigated. They are, yeah, they are police, police were not proactive. I was the first to go on site. I went with Chandima, and we tried to... We did everything possible to defuse the situation. Yeah. We spoke to both communities. Yeah. This was a pers This was an accident which was converted into something, uh, big. something big. And I didn't go for the photo shot, but I'm proud to say for us. When I heard about it, I told Chandima, let's go. We went. We went to all the areas. When we went there, in certain areas, the police had not been deploy deployed. I had to speak to all quarters and get that done. We brought, we brought the situation under control and then we left. But unfortunately, certain politicians mm. came there for the photo shot. Mm. But on site, when the incident happened immediately, mm. we, we went there, we went to the mosque, we went to the temple. Yeah. One of our vehicles were attacked. Right. But I'm proud to say that we managed to bring the situation under control for us. I mean, it's very, very, very unfortunate that did innocent, they, innocent people are being instigated. The masses are they tried are brought into it on the on the basis of communal hatred, and certain politicians, their political platform mm. is trying to create a political base out of racism. And do you think the UNP were behind that? I don't no, but I, I don't want to point a finger at any political party because I think whoever did it. Those individuals responsible, irrespective, what about Mr. Bajira, ir ir irrespective, it? irrespective of political parties, they shouldn't do what they did. But I didn't. I'm, I don't come Was from the. Bajira? I don't come from the Gaul district. Yeah. But when a situation like this occurs, we have a responsibility to the country to go there and defuse the situation. But how, how low can it be for people to use uh, the communal car? Problem is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, for us, the easiest, easiest thing for a politician to do, mm. uh, tomorrow if I form a political party yeah. based on race and religion, yeah. it will be much easier for me because you just have to make emotions. One of my viewers is pointing out that I asked a question, you haven't answered it. Was, it, it, was it Vajira behind it? I mean, uh, I don't. I don't know about Faraz. I, I mean, Do you I don't, have any evidence? No, Faraz. I don't know whether who it was, but the only thing I knew, I we went there. Were you convinced in your mind when you went there and you you went to the ground situation and took, uh, listened to all the sides and yeah. so on? In your mind, did you form an opinion that 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 this was sort of fixed? That this was make made. This was. This was instigated by certain quarters. I'm not in a position to say who it was for us because I didn't go into that. No, no, I, I didn't want to dwell into that because right. I don't want to put. Uh, 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 you want to add fuel to fuel, fire. Fuel to fire. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Because for us, even at this point, if I point the finger at X, Y, and Z, yeah. it can brew again. Yeah. All what I have to say is we are Sri Lankans, what irrespe is the irrespective of whatever communities we belong. Yeah. I mean, I saw houses being burnt. I saw vehicles being bur uh, being burnt. I yeah. saw people being attacked. I saw I saw individuals walking around with clubs. Yeah. When I went there, and I and we had to get the police to be deployed. Right. Well, there was a, lu a lukewarm approach in the police police getting the act together at that point of time. But after we Isn't went in there, we went in there. The po police got the act together, and also I spoke to the army commander. We got, we got the forces to get activated, yeah. and I, I was in touch with the pres president and the prime minister, both, oh. in getting this situation activated because nobody was on the ground for us. Everybody was, was, uh, for us, everybody was talking about the situation from Colombo or elsewhere without going to the... Going so you went there? I went there, Chandima went there, right? right? And we, we went and saw the situation, calmed the people down, because for us, are you a bit of an action man? No, I mean, for us, I'm, fine. I'm proud to say when Aludgam occurred, I was the first to be on site. Right. When the Grand Pass Moscow was attacked, I was there. Right. Gintota. End of the day, for us, I believe that as a politician, mm. when there is a situation, 
there is an obligation on the part of being an elected member or a member of parliament yeah. to go there and try to see how you can diffuse the situation. I want to ask you. I, it's easy for people to yeah. come after, to, after the situation is over, mm. come there and have crocodile tears, yeah. which most politicians go after the situation is diffused, go and talk to the people there and ask their grievances. Right. But, it's, but you, what we should do for us to go there and stop the situation. It's so interesting, this uh, conversation, but unfortunately, uh, uh, our control room wants to go for a break. So don't go away. Stay tuned to Newsline. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shalkutali. And a warm welcome back to Newsline, and where Mr. Faisal Mustafa is in attendance. Mr. Mustafa, thank you for telling me about Jim Tutu and so on. But you are facing a potential, potentially you're facing a no-confidence motion against you uh, for what they say uh, is your inaction. Now, we'll come back to that in a minute. But I want to ask you, is this the most serious matter in going on in Parliament? The, the, the fact that there is a more, no confidence motion against you. What about, now we were just talking about Jintata, what about the inaction of the Minister of Law and Order, Sagala Ratnaika? You were there first and so on and so forth. But what about Mr. Sagala Ratnaika? What about his inability uh, to carry out these investigations and start prosecuting the people for corruption and nepotism and abuse of power and so on and so forth, all of which, for heaven's sake, it was promised to us. What about his inaction? Doesn't he need to have a vote of no confidence against him? For us, the police was deployed there. Yeah. I mean, you can't blame the minister. It was the, In India. It was, In it, India. Was, it was the local police, the DIG of the area, yeah. who had to give orders to get them to get the act together. So maybe you can talk about the command chain, yeah. but definitely the police, the three forces were there. The three forces were there and they said we didn't have orders from the DIG in that area to be deployed right. or, to, or to get the act together. Yeah. So when I asked the DIG, he immediately said, yes, we'll do it. So I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is from the government point of view, there is no point of pointing fingers at X, Y, and Z. The police, but the national, the, the, whoever the DIG in the area should have been more vigilant, should have been more proactive in getting the situation under control. And as far as the government, the, 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 the STF was brought in, the three forces were brought in. So from the from government point of view, the, gov the government did everything possible to deploy the police and the forces. But I think the local police in that area yeah. and the and the DIG in charge of the area should have been more proactive in dealing with the situation. Because when I went in, I walked in, I walked into a mobs, right? And then police were getting the act together only at that point for us. I want to ask you this question. Do you think that you're being set up, that this is all, this is all a ploy uh, and at the expense of, these, of this minority community uh, and that this was all to do with deflecting the attention, the very serious concerns that everybody has about the outcome of the Bond Commission because so much information has come about. Do you think that this is an attempt, a cynical attempt to uh, to for, deflect attention for, uh, away? And, and, and just let me, let me for just us, you seem to be going on and going on with the Bond Commission, but this... Thank you, Faisal Mustafa. I've been going this, on this and a, on and this on. This is an independent issue, yeah. right? This issue with anybody playing with creating racial tensions, destroying the fabric of racial harmony yeah. for the purpose of getting the attention elsewhere. It's a low down thing. Yeah. But I don't think for us, anybody who is right minded, yeah. who loves this country would do such a thing. It's because been done in the past. because this situation for us, I have first hand experience. Yeah. Collectively, steps were taken yeah. to bring this situation under control, which had to be done because this is not for the Photoshop for politicians to come after the situation is brought under control. Yeah, come, yeah. And, come and speak to all the people there and try to create a political uh, 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 base out of I it. I saw photographs of uh, Richard Badadin, um, Ralph Hakim at, at Jinton. I didn't see actually didn't see any photos of you. For us, because I was there when the crisis was there. I wasn't there when the media came in to take photographs of what's happening there. And I left before the media came in there. No, for no, us, no. end of the day for us. Yeah. 
I would not want to be highlighted in the media or try to portray mm. taking benefit out of the situation like that because I went there with the sole intention of diffusing the situation, bringing the situation under control for the sake of national but, reconciliation. But, 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 yes, I, I hear what you say, Faisal, but uh, um, we, you know, we, we, we see this, you say about collective responsibility and so on, and then we have Sujeeva Sena Singer. Is it true that he is going to be changed? I don't know for us. That, no. that that's a question somebody for asked. Us, for us, those issues. Is it true the president is for us, decided for to sack Sena Singh? For us, those issues about other ministers. Have you got a deputy minister? I don't. Uh, for us, right. Uh, <clears throat> I want to ask you this: What about this no confidence motion in you, in your performance? Do you think there's any merit? For us, I have acted always in the best interest of the country in terms of the law. And I don't think there are any lapses on my part. I believe that this no confidence is emotion, is unwarranted. And I believe when you are a politician, certain no confidence motions are done with political intentions in mind. Right. So maybe I'm being targeted politically. But, uh, so but you know, I, I believe that I can face this no confidence, and I feel believe that I I command the but majority member support of the majority members of parliament. But Mr. Mustafa, if you can. But I don't. Uh, my concern is not the more no confidence motion in Parliament. I don't want to lose the confidence of the masses of this country yeah. be, by certain people orchestrating to use this no confidence motion to tarnish the goodwill and the reputation I have with the common man of this country. Whatever the no no confidence motion, there are political motives behind it. But I want the general public to believe that I have done things in the best interest of the country, that some are trying to make allegations that I filed the case among against myself. Yes. I mean, it's very unfortunate. Is, somebody uh, said it, it, it came from your chamber. For us, I'm Is a, that true? It's not true. For us, I'm a president's counsel. Yeah. I value the legal profession. I value what I achieved as a lawyer and trying to bring disrepute to me as a lawyer saying that I'm trying to file a case. This lawyer who appeared, yeah. trained under my father. My father has trained, yeah, my, my father has trained over 100, 200 or even more lawyers. Right. He has his 50 years of experience and anybody can work under my father's chamber. My father and I have appeared for two parties in the same case. Mm. Right, where we appeared for opposing parties. Exactly. So lawyers mm. appear for various persons, various entities. Mm. The fact that that lawyer worked at one time in my father's chambers, and that re for that reason to point fingers, at, point the finger at me, is very unfortunate. Where the legal profession is independent, anybody can appear on behalf of anybody. Yes, yes. And taking that it's into a, it's consideration, very it's very good. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it's very unfortunate point taken, for us. Point taken. Point taken. But you see the value of having discussions. I do, for Because us. If, if we didn't have this discussion, we wouldn't have known that. For us, that's why I'm never media shy. That's right. I so, have so always... Very good point. Very good point. The point I'm trying to make out is, former president Chandrika Kumaratunga very recently said, uh, she said bravo to the prime minister, for, and she said it was historic that he had uh, appeared before the commission inquiring into the bond. Why is it historic? Well, so he is the... I mean, even though he's holding holding high political office, the yeah. fact that he went and gave evidence before the bond, bond commission, Chandrika Bandara would have thought that that this government, mm. in this government, mm. everybody is equal beh before okay. the law. All right. My other, then my, my follow up question to that is: yeah. When President uh, Chandrika Kumaratunga was the president, she appointed another commission. It was called the Batalanda Commission, and Mr. Vikramasinghe went there too. Wasn't that historic? So, I mean, lot the legal process work. Well, he was leader of the opposition then. For us, end of the day, irrespective of who the individual is, mm. if the legal process is working and there's new legal process, no, my, it my, should be com I'm it should it, sh it was for us. It should be commended. I mean, in any regime. If the, head of, the, if the head of, the if the head of state or number two that uh, during that time he was leader of the opposition. Yeah. So Chan, Madam Chandrika Bandaranaika's statement is yeah. even though he was holding the se second highest post of the land of the uh, highest post yeah. in the land, yeah. right? 
he was summoned before the commission or he voluntarily went before the commission shows that the so lead that has so that the the, the 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 machinery is working and and for us that is she is entitled to say that that is a view and then she has said it for us you know, no, unfor- 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 unfortunately for us yeah. there is no point of splitting hairs mm. over statements made by her she because what no, because she's a non no 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 for us i mean in the other day well, i mean she has said something we, we she's saying that the system is working under this regime that's what that's a statement mm mm-hmm. mm the system is working that's how, that's but you know. when we were discussing just now yeah. that's how this business about that lawyer training under your father yeah, and all that yeah, came out yeah, yeah. now if you in the same spirit of things yeah. if the prime minister was able to appear at the uh, at the commission of inquiry and if if there was no none of this uh, kid glove treatment right that, and that's what it was right if there was none of this oh we'll send you the questions by you well, know affidavit and all this business <laughs> if there was able to be a proper like mr mahendran was questioned in you're a lawyer you don't need me to be telling you this that it's on the questioning that you get out information faraz it is not for you or me to comment on how the commission was conducting itself i am not sir faraz, i am faraz, not coming faraz, as a lawyer as, I, a, pres- as, a, as a law like, as yes. a lawyer and a president's counsel yeah. the commission decides to follow a certain process right it is their their is their independent choice on how they follow it i mean it's not up to you or me to say uh, are you, are you uh, trying to collect political no, no, i i yeah. don't need to call it i can't i can't as a president council and a lawyer yeah. comment on the the mechan- machinery or the mechanism no, no, the no, man- no, I'm man- not for us, the manner in which the president the presidential commission is conducting affairs it's their business right you and i cannot but you're giving you know, political answers for, 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 for us no for us I'm, i will not give political answers anyway i am i am giving answers as a lawyer who's been in practice for yeah. over 20 years so the president the presidential commission yeah. has a mandate to carry out their affairs and they they will carry out their affairs in terms of the law so why didn't arjun mahendran was why wasn't for, for, he given a long for, list for, of for questions and ask him to for, send for, an for us, affidavit why is, was he different for us, that is your view no for us I will not comment on the manner in which the commission. I have the utmost faith and confidence in so the we, uh, in so the in we. the com- and, and the commissioners are people with honesty and and integrity and the best choice to be members of that commission. Therefore, for us, yeah. if they choose to follow a certain mechanism and a manner, it is not up to you and and me to comment because I know that the commission will do just by the country. Right. Thank that, you. That's your view. That's well, my view. Well, you know, I, I don't know how many political points you you For us I on. I don't need to get political for points from anybody anybody for us. Right. If you question me about the manner in which the commission has conducted his affairs, no. I would say that I, I have con- I I, I, I have I have the utmost confidence in the manner in the mechanism and the individuals who are members of that commission. And it's quite all right for one person to have to for be us, questions for us, and the other not. That commission follows a certain mechanism I mean, asking questions, its modality, yeah. what, irrespective of whatever mechanism they follow, yeah. I have confidence in the commission, right. and that, that's my answer. And that's your answer. That's my answer. And and I will last and final question: Do you believe in due process? I believe in due process. Right. And you'd have a problem if I was to tell you, and if I was to be able to prove that due process was. not followed in a series of matters for us in the not talk about bond only for us in the other day you as a journalist yeah. you are privy to certain information even which i don't have you so, share it so okay. if you share it fine yeah. right but you are entitled to your view and in every government there are issues where there are lapses there are issues there are faulty there are issues where people allege corruption so for us there may be incidents which need which there there are actual issues i agree with you you agree i agree in every government for us nothing is hunky dory um there are so many um uh There's so many uh, questions. So many questions. Maybe you can do a part two sometime for us. Well, If perhaps, you invite perhaps. Me. But um, what do you think will happen after the commission's report is out? For us, it is as a lawyer. As a lawyer, for us. What's the next step? For us, the quick, law, quick, quick. law. They'll give their observations, their views, yeah. and based on it, His Excellency the President should take to due steps. So it's it pretty much for us. I, and for uh, us, you are going to no comment. For us, are you going to win that? I'm very confident for us I have not done anything wrong I would place I want to place my case to the nation more than to parliament right. because this no con is politically motivated 
but I don't want to lose the confidence and trust the common man has placed placed on me for us. That is more important than this no confidence. But you go, you, I think you're up uh, uphill task, young man. If I'm, not, if I may say I'm so. not for us. I be, I believe that the general public of this country, judging believe, by the numbers, believe, of, but believe, judging by the numbers of SMS messages but, coming here, and I am sorry I haven't taken it all up because it's all about the same thing. They say that Faisal Mustafa is the man responsible for not having had the election, for, for, for delaying the election. Unfortunately, can you say are for, you responsible? For, for yes us, no? certain quarters are looking for a hit man, right? And I will not be the. I will not succumb to it. And I'm very confident that I'll overcome this with dignity and pride. Faisal Mustafa, thank you very much for being on Newsline. Now uh, the control room's going absolutely berserk, wanting, wanting it all back. So I think you've been saved by the bell. Thanks for that. It was a pleasure being with you. Thank you. On that note, uh, that's the way it was on Newsline on this wonderful Monday morning, uh, the 27th of November 2017. Take care and God bless. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali.